Pennsylvania Association of Staff Nurses and Allied Professionals are going on strike to protest their lack of contractual agreements in September. Over a thousand nurses and other health professionals at Temple University Hospital started striking early Tuesday morning after their contract negotiations fell through. Temple Hospital said it was open for business as usual and hired 800 temporary professionals to fill in for the striking workers. They resent their employees having a union, but guess what? We have a right to have a union and we're going to have an effective union. Union members accused Temple of bad faith bargaining and said the strike was over wages and health benefits. Hospital representatives claim that workers already earn about $39 an hour, which they call one of the highest rates in the city. Ask Ann Weaver Hart the question. And if she tries to say that it doesn't have anything to do with her, that it's the hospital, you got to press her and say, didn't you hire Ed Notabart on September 25th, 2008? He reports to you. You are accountable for what's going on at this hospital, in this dispute, in this strike. Striking workers also protested the gag clause, which allows management to fire workers who publicly criticize the hospital. Representatives for the hospital said that the clause only applies to union officials who have repeatedly made disparaging statements about the hospital during the contract negotiation process. Such a proposal, such a contract provision does not exist in any contract that I'm aware of, and that Ann Weaver Hart uh, has made this a centerpiece of her proposals for an academic medical center is just incomprehensible and outrageous. Though PASNAP workers are eager to get back to work, they're willing to strike as long as it takes, including Easter weekend. Until then, they'll continue to speak out despite the gag clause. I'm Justin McOldrey, and this is the Temple News.